Hello, fellow rebel capitalists. Hope you're well. If you're watching the news, you're seeing how Credit Suisse is imploding in real time right in front of our eyes. Is it the next Lehman Brothers? Is this kicking off the GFC 2.0? I don't know. Let's get into this article and try to answer some of those questions. We're going to go straight to Zero Hedge. Title, Credit Suisse credit default swaps explode. That was the chart that you saw in the thumbnail. And when they say explode, I actually think they're understating (laughs) what their credit default swaps are doing right now. And as most of you guys know from watching my videos, that's simply the price on the insurance if they go bust. So the higher that price goes, the higher the probability the market is giving that Credit default swap, or excuse me, uh, Credit Suisse is the next Lehman Brothers. Moving forward with this title, reportedly urged SNB show of confidence. Uh, the ECB quantifying exposures. So let's get straight into this here. The Financial Times reports that Credit D, uh, Credit Suisse, uh, Credit default swaps, has appealed to the Swiss National Bank for a public show of support. Hmm. And Josh is right here. And I know the first thing that's coming into his mind is the swap lines. Remember that? Well, but that was the, that was kind of the canary in the coal mine. If you guys were watching my videos a few months ago, we were doing, uh, we were reporting on how the swap lines, the dollar swap lines between the United States and the Swiss National Bank was being used. And it was getting up uh, for about a week or so. And it kept going higher and higher and there were more and more counterparties. And this suggested that there were some cracks, let's say, with a Swiss bank, such as (laughs) Credit Suisse. And so now that we see this coming to the surface, I don't think it's any surprise. At least it's no surprise to the people that were actually paying attention. So let's see. Let's. This is a quote from an analyst. It says, it is looking inevitable that the Swiss National Bank will have to intervene and provide a lifeline. Wow. Geez. So they're getting bailed out just like Silicon Valley Bank. This latest news comes on top of the report that the ECB has asked EU lenders to disclose their exposure to the Swiss lender. So why are they doing that? Because they're trying to gauge systemic risk. I mean, we may see the ECB have to come out with some sort of quote-unquote facility, like we talked about in the last video, just like the Fed and the Treasury did. Finally, Bloomberg reports the U.S. Treasury says it's monitoring the Credit Suisse situation. And, you know, doesn't this go right back to what Jeff Snyder was saying in our interview the other day, where every single week, Jerome Powell comes out and says, oh, don't worry, we've got the tools for this. We've got the tools for this. Oh, inflation, we've got the tools for that. September repo blow up, we've got the tools for that. And then every single time we have a crisis, they create another tool. (laughs) Well, if you had all the tools, why are you creating all these additional ones? And I think that's what we're most likely going to see. These central banks creating more of these facilities uh, after reassuring us that they've got everything handled based on their existing toolkit. So it appears the final straws one year Credit Suisse credit default swap is now trading 17% up front as counterparty hedge flows soar. And this is a fancy way of saying the price is skyrocketing because all these uh, basically counterparties are buying insurance that they go bust. So now they give an update at 10 Eastern time. It looks like it's worsening. The sediment is worsening after... Uh, let's see, worsening sentiment 
got even worse, even worser. <laughs> I'm so okay. What? Who is writing this here? Come on, Zero Hedge. Come on. You're better than that, for heaven's sakes. I had to do like a triple take there. Like, what? Are my eyes going crazy? <laughs> okay. After the Wall Street Journal report citing unidentified people familiar with the matter, ECB officials contacted lenders. It supervises Wednesday to ask about financial exposure to Credit Suisse. Yeah, again, they're just trying to put the feelers out there to gauge as quickly as they possibly can what the counterparty risk is here or the systemic risk. But here's the, the real chart that's just a mind blower. I mean, <laughs> look at that. That is the price of insurance against them going bust. And look at where it was during the Cerveza sickness. I'm assuming that's pretty much right around here where it got to 500. And look at Lehman. <laughs> it got up to like, let's say 250 during Lehman. And now it's at 2,728. Jeez, just the volatility that we've seen. In the last few days, just across the board, is just staggering. Let's see if they've got another more recent update. I'm going through all these charts that just paint a very bleak picture around Credit Suisse, to say the least. Oh, so then what happened is the Saudi National Bank they were basically trying to get a lifeline from them. And just long story short, they told them to pound sand. So after that, that's when you just saw these charts go ballistic. That just, you know, that's when the, basically the probability of them going bust just went parabolic. And that happened this morning. Wow, look at this. The one-year credit default swaps for the embattled Swiss lender were indicating or indicated 835 basis points on Tuesday. On Tuesday. So that was yesterday, guys. And now it's almost 2,000 basis points higher. Okay, I mean, this is unbelievable. I, I, I'm not going to predict they're going bust, but it, I, I can't imagine that they will survive this without a central bank slash government bailout. And if they don't get bailed out, I mean, they're they're done. Looks like they're done. So we'll be following this story throughout the day. So make sure that you stay tuned to this channel because if Credit Suisse goes down, uh, even if they get bailed out, like, okay, you're still not fixing the underlying problem. And just with Silicon Valley Bank, Signature, you name it. Okay, fine. You can just paper over it with your stupid little facility but you're not addressing the core problem. It's like someone being sick with um, you know, a brain tumor or something like that, and you're treating them for a headache. It's like, no, 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 no. Yeah, you can get rid of that headache, but that doesn't get rid of the real problem. And sooner or later, that tumor is going to create more and more problems, and eventually... It's going to kill the whole system. So on that note, make sure you stay tuned to this channel for the rest of the day, guys. And make sure you're always standing up for freedom, liberty, free market capitalism. We'll see you in the next video.